Genetic disorders. First of all, what is the genetic information? For humans, genes are kept within the DNA, within chromosomes, inside your nucleus. Um, but if mutations occur, then you might end up looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Red. It's unnatural. <laughs> okay. Um, the genetic disorder may or may not be inherited, um, but sometimes it can be just a mutation, literally. Um, the first one I'm going to cover is progeria. Oh my god. It's. <laughs> well, what is it? Progeria um, is a rapid aging disease. Um, it's also known as Hutchinson Guilford progeria syndrome and it's extremely rare and it's a sim it's an AD disorder which causes premature aging and it's never actually transmitted from parent to child well because you can't yes Emma can I ask a question please Paul, you're asking really me one now no right um if you age prematurely does that mean you can have kids when you're four because no. technically you're about no. 20 years well, old. Well, the thing is they stay about that tall. So? Aging, not developing. And they, they age so rapidly that they so die they within age the age of 13, so it would be illegal to have kids for uh, them. That doesn't yeah, stop no, most of the population. Uh, aging is so 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 about the legality, she was asking yeah, whether they could. Systems, okay, so no, you they age age not to an extent. No, that was the question. No, that was the question. All the cases are due to mutations within the genes, and it affects around 1 in 18 million children, and yeah, it's never inherited. Um, the cause is because of a spontaneous gene mutation. Stop laughing. <laughs> it's not, funny. You're horrible. Um, it's because of the LMNA gene, um, which makes the protein lamin A, and it holds the nucleus together. I'm just going to use this more pen. Um, in a normal nucleus, the nuclear envelope is circular or slightly oval, like that. But within, when you don't have the lamin A protein, it sort of changes shape so it looks more like that, which is unnatural. Yes, Steve? Calling someone abnormal is mean. You're abnormal. <laughs> um, um, and, yeah. Um, symptoms of progeria and treatments. As you can see, it's slowed growth, narrowed face, hardening and tightening of skin. It's sort of all the normal symptoms of aging. Um, and there's no cure, and it is obviously a terminal illness. And However, there's been um, some treatments such as growth hormone treatment, and it has been attempted, but it's all failed. Um, there's a type of anti-cancer drug. Um, FTIs, the farinacyl transferase inhibitors, um, but it's been limited to animal testing only, and there's no no cure. There's no no cure. Um, however, something that's really interesting is that things like dementia and um, mental health does not affect um, people with progeria. They continue to develop mentally as a normal child would. Um, the next one is fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva. I'm going to call it FOP. Um, what causes it? It's a disorder in which muscle tissue and connective tissue are slowly replaced by bone. So the bone grows over the connective tissue. It mainly starts with the neck and then it's goes down through the body, so it jo reaches the joints, and yeah, sorry, I should have warned you from that. Um, it's always sort of causes, because the bone grows where connective tissues, ligaments, tendons are meant to be, it, it, um, it sort of affects speaking, breathing difficulties, it also causes death by the crushing of organs. Ooh. 
so it's a really painful and slow death. And there are 750 confirmed cases worldwide. Alive death. Um, as I've already said, begins in the neck, progresses down, um, common symptoms, the toes are malformed, and yeah, babies don't crawl, they scoot on their butts, which I hear Leanne like used to do very well. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what I was a kid. Like, Background I information. Mm. So she was laughing at me, saying that I had that. Um, you have fought. Yeah, there's no cures, no treatment, and surgery makes the condition worse. Um, in a lot of genetic um, diseases, surgery actually does make the condition worse. For example, I can't actually remember what the disease is called, but a lady had um, continuous growth of the cells, and this just caused her limbs, her lower limbs, to grow ginormously huge. Um, however, when there was an infection in her left leg, it had to be sort of amputated. Not sort of, it was amputated. However, the stump still kept growing, but it did not form another leg. It just formed a giant stump. She was unable to move. <laughs> she couldn't really go anywhere. She was rendered completely dependent on parents, friends, nurses, doctors. And it's not a very nice life to have. Um, FOP is a condition that's inherited by the dominant gene. So just one gene can cause you to have the disease. Um, and it, however, that's only a very small minority of the people with the actual disease. Um, most of the time, it's actually caused by a mutation in the genes. Um, how long do I have left? Technically 20 minutes till the end of lunch. Going a bit fast. Okay. Um, Epidermosplasmia varicifolis. Oh, looks good. It looks like herpes. <laughs> oh. Hello, that's my herpes. Um, oh my god. Oh, yeah, this is actually girls. Wasn't that in will Fantastic have Four? Had the HPV vaccination in year eight. It stops us from getting this. Ooh. Human papilloma virus, okay? Um, this is when the infection sets in and it only affects <coughs> women. Oh. So, woo for boys! What a girl. Yes. Yay. Yeah, I, I, oh, I, I was okay. happy. I you Sorry. We have so many better things than you. Um, that's so weird. Um, the weird. papilloma virus is actually an ancient taxonomic family, so it's um, a non enveloped DNA virus. Um, there's so many species of it, but only. 16 and 18 actually harms us and causes cancer. Um, it's quite basic. It's caused by a defect in cell mediated immune response to the HPV infection. Um, um, so, yeah, the HPV is actually cancerous and symptoms of it is it starts in childhood and it causes thin wart-like lesions in hands, extremities and in the back. It manifests during infancy, childhood or puberty and um, usually it's not quite as severe as the pictures we saw. Um, it's usually just sort of small warts all over the body. 